Now, one related theme is there. I've been considering the new society. And that theme is what we call, this is a very beautiful expression. I hope you have come across in geography classes. Have you come across this kind of expression there? Maybe roaring 40s, right? 30s. So, similar kind of expression is here in history as well. The roaring 20s, this expression, this is used for this period. 19. 20s. So, your 20s means 1920s, first thing. First World War, here, 19, 14, 18, right? So, this was a period of a great crisis. You can say the bad years. Then you will find after some time, again, some bad years are there. 1929 onwards. The Great Depression began in 1929. So, 1929 and you can say almost the whole of the 30s were the bad years. And finally, in 1939, Second World War began. All right. So, it is said between two bad days, there are days in between marked by the spirit of optimism, progress, cultural changes, social changes, and there are so many positive aspects related to this. One positive aspect is freedom of women. Freedom of women. This is the point what I left yesterday. I hadn't discussed. So, freedom of women. So, if we consider many remarkable changes during this period, that is 20s. So, this falls between two bad periods. See? So, between two bad, one good. Why good? In social cultural context, remarkable changes took place. This is the period when you find a growth of a modern <clears throat> consumer culture. This is the period when refrigerators and so many consumer goods became popular. This is a period of radio. This is a period of talkies. This is a period of uh, new form of painting, what is known as surrealism. This is a period of new architecture. And this is also the period of freedom of women. So, women came out of domesticity, you can say. Came out of home entered public life. And this you have to consider in the light of First World War. So, First World War was such a war we will be discussing later. It is said First World War was novel in many ways. And so many trains we find in the First World War and they were never before in the earlier wars. So, during this time, in such a great war, all you can say a healthy men, they were at war front. So there was need of women to come out. Women came out, joined factories, industries, hospitals, other services, and showed their strength. And then when the war was over, then we find a new women emerged. 
emancipated one, free, with new look, new fashion, so many things new. And this is the period when in many Western countries, suffrage was given to women. Like in 1918, voting rights given to women in Britain, 19... 20 given in the US. This means before this, they didn't have voting rights. And this means the roaring 20s, refer to 1920s, but for which reason? Not for the whole of the world. This is for USA. and Western Europe, even Germany also, though Germany was defeated, but after some time because of US help, US aid, in Germany also we find remarkable socio-cultural changes. So in Germany, uh, the German publicist coined a term in the place of this golden 20s. Golden 20s. In France, the French publicist coined a term, crazy years. Crazy years. I mean, for the same, for the roaring 20s. So, roaring 20s referred to 1920s in USA and Western Europe, particularly Britain, France, Germany. And this was a period of remarkable change in socio-cultural life. And this falls between two bad periods. One, the First World War, and two, the Great Depression and the Second World War. So how First World War played a role in giving birth to a new society, a new social trend, this is what we are discussing. Here, all these points are to be written also. Is it okay? You are getting? So, regarding women, what all things we find here? I hope you understand. In Britain particularly, women lived in what we call Victorian norms, Victorian era norms. Victorian era norms were very rigid. In fact, anti-women, it showed a male bass. Uh, according to these norms, the place of women is home, nowhere else. And, and, and they, they find the role of a man and women on the basis of biology. So it is said they shook the Victorian norms of life and women came out of Victorian tradition. Right? So this is a very, very important aspect of what we call new society or new social trends. Right? And now you can take the image of this. There are some facts related to that. <laughs> Roaring 20s and then slash crazy years, this expression coined in France. Golden 20s, this expression coined in Germany. Right? And these are the points. And here, see, certain aspects are presented. Aspect 1, where you have three points. And aspect 1, in fact, defines the roaring 20s. And if you write the reason also here. Reason is not mentioned. You should mention the reason also. USA and Western Europe. All right. And here, see, 
the first point what do you find is defining this economic prosperity dynamism in socio cultural life a spirit of liveliness and optimism second is crisis on either side either side you understand before great war and after great depression and again great war and three again some remarkable features modern consumer cultures radio talkies jazz jazz you understand i think new form of music charleston new form of dance surrealism a new form of painting art deco new form of architecture and new fashion and second aspect is all at uh, just a minute modern consumer culture many consumer goods emerge during this time because of a spread of electricity I mean, electricity based many consumer goods like refrigerator radio talkies jazz a new form of music charleston new form of dance surrealism new form of painting and in india ravindranath tagore experimented surrealism for the first time and surrealism is very interesting what kind of painting you you think of dream in dream i think you must have experience that many things they have no connection no connection at all you find them together in a strange way right suppose for example one example history of national class is going on donald trump is one student <laughs> this is one dream like thing this kind of painting is surrealism and art deco is a new form of architecture new fashion also particularly of women like short dresses bobbed hair bobbed hair no girl is having bobbed hair here so bobbed hair and short dresses became popular all of a sudden and these girls came to be known as flappers a very popular term for them flappers so who were the flappers new freed women or emancipated women with new look new dresses second is all related to women say suffrages 1918 in britain 1920 us 1928 again in britain 21 years on watts here age limit was higher 30 two out of homes and economic independence and three socio cultural freedom this is a term i was using flapper the emancipated new women with new look four break with tradition challenge to traditional definition of womanhood five out of victorian belief and way of life men and women's role rooted in biology this was the victorian belief so you can say there was an assault on this belief women came out of it and six end of era of domesticity more independent lifestyle of women seven expansion of higher education for women and beginning of coed both in us and britain and eight government focus also on the issues of concern i mean concern means related to women like peace public health education etc so if you consider these points point number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 i think this is the last one here yeah, this is the last one so these eight points give you information how first world war influenced women and how freedom of women so take this image also so this is the second aspect so what i have said i have presented this theme under three aspects why 
first aspect is a general feature of roaring 40s and some other expressions used in germany and france regarding germany also you should understand why golden 20s though germany was a defeated power a harsh and humiliating treaty was imposed that was treaty of versailles yet how golden 20s because through us aid germany began to grow in economic context and that had implication for socio cultural context also but this was for a short period because the moment great depression took place america became the victim of this all these aid came to an end and that was set back to germany so these are the general features second is all related to women you have eight points right and the third one is the limitations and critic of roaring 40s the limitations and critic also first is the economic constraints were still there as a result of the first world war this was not over completely it was still there inequality this roaring 20s was not roaring 20s for all mainly for the affluent ones urban based and second is the lost generation this term is used for the generation that had old values so this generation after the war found many new values and they were disillusioned because of this frustrated because of this for them we use the term the lost generation right so there is a third aspect so three aspects are there so you take this image also lost generation means the generation that inherited the old values values before the great war right and after the war they found new values i mean new socio cultural values emerged what they couldn't appreciate so for them this term is used the lost generation the generation lost because their values have lost relevance now after the war you might have heard the name one great literate ernest hemingway american no many american writers they became so disillusioned in america they shifted to france paris they lived there there they began to write and in their writing we find a great frustration because of this change that was taking place